Okay, welcome everybody. Today we are going to draw, draw graph O y against x, which are inverse proportion. So x times y is x times y are inverse each other. X times y equals negative six. When x is one, one times y is negative six. Y is of course negative six minus six. So if you make the table x and y table when x is 1 y is negative 6 we are going to put values of x uh, on the column of x uh, on the column of y we're going to put values of y so when y is when x is 3 y is negative 2 because 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 when x is 6 y is negative 1 we'll just replace those values with x and we are finding y then uh, we are going to have at the end we are going to have some points those points are 1 and negative 6 point A let's say point B, point C, point D we have 4 points and we have X, Y coordinates those points are 1, negative 6 2, negative 3, 3, negative 2 and 6, negative 1, 1. we are going to plot these points on this coordinate plane point A is here because 1 and negative 6 point b is there point c is uh, 3 and negative 2 that's why it's there point d there so we are going to draw a line passing through a b c d this, this is very easy this is very simple to draw the line it's going to be a curved line passing through a b c d that's it also, x can get negative values, minus 1, minus 2, 3, 6, uh, and I'm just picking whole numbers clo very close to the origin because I, I would like to draw a nice and smooth graph. So when x is negative 1, and if you replace x with negative 1 just in the equation, you'll find 6, y is 6. And when negative two, two, x is negative 2, y is 3. So we are going to find, as you see, that we have four points again. We are going to name those points, point E, point F, point G, and point H. And we are going to plot those points again. We, we'll do the same thing. So point E is there. Point F is here. Point G, again, negative 3 and 2. Point D is when x is negative 6, y is one so we'll just we'll just draw the curve line again we just draw the line again passing through those points and we finalize our question and we drew our graphs